conditions in your first alert forecast. There's no getting away from that. Uh, but what we will see is some varying views. Lots of clouds on this Friday and really more of a spotty shower, even a couple drifting again towards our area. So you can see a couple of light to moderate showers coming into parts of the plateau to Central Valley midday. A couple of downpours and storms bubbling up in the mountains, sticking with a couple of light showers into the afternoon popping up. Lots of clouds here, occasionally a little more sun, but notice these batches of clouds and then a lone downpour or storm even possible popping up there in the evening on Cumberland County, Fentress County area, trying to come down into Rome County around seven. So we're using the humidity and the cloud cover to create a couple of showers. Now we'll see some more cloud breaks at times tonight, and that'll give us some better views for your Saturday if you're looking to get outside. So for today, the clouds can do you some favors if you want to maybe do some yard work while it's limited on the rain. Again, most of this is lighter, so we're talking a few hundredths to more of a lone tenth of an inch today with that spotty coverage. The clouds also slow down that heating. So we're going from 70 degrees this morning, which is right around normal. But then we're only around 81 at noon, high today 84, still mostly cloudy with that isolated rain and storms. Got a northeasterly wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. But again, to make it feel hotter, we've got that humidity. That's what creates the isolated pop up. So it'll feel like we're sliding into more of the low to mid 80s by midday. If you're looking to get outside, just keep in mind it can feel like it's around 90 at times in the valley. This afternoon, 89 Madisonville, 90 in Knoxville, 89 in Sevierville. So feeling 4 to 5 degrees warmer can make a difference, of course, in the shade with a lot of clouds. We're not really being impacted by the sun as much today. 85 is what it feels like today in Crossville in the first alert forecast where you live. That's 89 Clinton to 86 in Powell Valley and 88 Williamsburg. Easily feeling like it's around 89 in Dandridge and 89 in Mohawk. So obviously a steamy afternoon. Well, tomorrow it's going to be even warmer. Different tiers, we have more sun. So it'll be 68 in the morning with a mix of clouds and some fog. We'll be around 83 at noon with a high tomorrow of 88. Perfectly normal. Yes, it does feel warmer and that's in the shade. So in the shade, the humidity alone makes it feel like we get into the low 90s for your Saturday, but at least that does mean we have more sun. That scattered cloud cover, patchy fog first thing. I do see a lot of mix of sun and clouds on your future cast. So mostly cloudy Friday, partly cloudy Saturday, even mostly sunny by the afternoon limited. I'm talking more of a stray pop up in our higher elevations for Saturday. Got you only in about a 10% coverage of our area at most. So definitely some good news here if you're looking to make some weekend plans. Saturday is definitely my pick here as we have very limited rain. Now Sunday we flip the switch back into some scattered rain and storms that starts coming back into our area, especially by the afternoon. So just a heads up there, it's second half of your weekend here in your first alert future cast. You can see clouds stirring around Sunday morning with some spotty rain and storms morning to midday. And then the scattered batches head our way for the afternoon to evening. So we round out the weekend with some on and off rain and storms moving into our area. And that's where we'll kick back up on that coverage to start next week. So definitely not a washout of a weekend. If anything, we're getting some pretty good dry time with that not increasing until Sunday afternoon to evening, and that'll leave us with mid to upper 80s. Again, Saturday, a warmer day with more sun, then more on and off rain and storms Monday to Tuesday. I think temperatures are going to get knocked around a bit here as we have another cold front trying to move in, but then that can clash and create a few stronger storms on Tuesday before we end up with just more heat and humidity to round out next week.